here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 It was a very fine morning, but someone had definitely got out of bed on the wrong side, and it wasn't Snork Maiden. It. Where on earth is our basket? What basket? The bread basket, of course. I'm off to work in a minute. I want to put my lunch in it, but it's disappeared. Did you look in the kitchen? Of course I did. How strange. Now, where did I see it last? You never put things back in the same place. That's why it's lost. Oh, in that case, you'd better invent a new kind of basket, Snork. An unlosable basket. Huh? Invent an unlosable basket? Even for my brain, that's rather a tall order. Huh? You could solve that problem before you go to work with your brain. Oh, Snork Maiden, you were pulling my leg. I'm off to see Moomin now. Have a good day. Wait, Snork Maiden. I must have a basket. Just like our basket. <laughs> it is our basket, little Moy. Hi, Snork Maiden. Isn't that one of our baskets? Could be. I found it. It was lying outside the Snork's hangar. Ha! Hmm. Just as I thought. It was Snork who left it lying around. Yeehoo! <laughs> Wait, little Moy. I need that. It's super for shooting rapids in, you know. Whoa! Oh my! This isn't like you! Yeehaw! <laughs> Little my! Hmm? <laughs> that sounds like Snork Maiden! Yeehaw! <laughs> That's Little my! Yes, indeed, it was little Mai who had got out of bed on the wrong side. Little Mai, where are you? <coughs> little Mai, wait! Huh? That's Moomin! Excuse me, but have you seen 
little Mai? No, I haven't. Oh, well, I'm sorry to have bothered you. I wonder where she could be. Probably playing hide-and-seek again. They don't work in that family. Ho! Oh, Ho! Oh. What are you doing? Ah! Huh? Found you at last. <laughs> <laughs> come here. <laughs> oh! Come back. You'll stay right here until you've washed them again, young man. Uh, who, me? And hurry up. Get a move on. All right. You wait, little Mai. You didn't really have to do the laundry, Moomin. I don't know what's got into little Mai. She's not usually like this. And where did she go anyway? No one can catch me. I can run faster than the wind and the rain. I'll catch you. So will I, little Mai. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute, Sniff. Huh? Moomin? Whoa. What's wrong, Moomin? It's my leg. Oh. You must have sprained it. Oh. oh. See, look what you did to Moomin. You should apologize. You can't blame me. I didn't touch him. He rolled downhill all by himself. Well, you did scare him, and he could even have broken his leg. From a little fall like that? Bah! Come back! I could have been hurt, too. It hurts. Are you okay? We oh. better carry him home. Uh, 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 Not again! Uh, 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 Boomin, are you all right? I don't think we can do this on our own. We're going to need someone to help us. Hello, little Mai. How's Mumble today? Hmm? Hmm. Help! Someone please help Over us! Here. Help! Sounds like a matter for the police. Papa, hmm? try this and tell me what you think of it. Of course, dear. Mmm, very good. Just the right amount of spice. I'm glad you like it. I thought I'd try something new today. Everything you cook is very good, my dear. Thank you, Moomin Papa. Moomin Papa! Moomin Mama, it's Moomin! Moomin? <sighs> Moomin! Gently now. Oh, is it getting swollen? Well, if you'll excuse me. Yes, and thank you for your help, Inspector. Oh, and I haven't even offered you a cup of tea. That's all right. Next time, maybe. You take care of that leg of yours now, Moomin. Thank you, Inspector. Goodbye, Moomin Papa. Thanks again for your help. When I next see that little Mai, I'll have more than a few words to say to her. Oh, oh, oh it, it hurts, Mama. It's almost finished now, dear. Poor Moomin, would you like something nice? Hot chocolate with whipped cream? That little Mai's getting too big for her boots. Someone needs to take her down a peg or two. Stupid little pipsqueak. Little Mai, what are you doing up there by the window? Are you quite sure you don't want to stay with the Moomins? Little Mai, what are you trying to say? Little Mai? Oh. Little Mai? Mumble, my dear, was that little Mai? Yes, it was, but she ran away. All she does is run away. Has she done something she shouldn't have done? Well... Uh... Here, 
you are. Oh, you've made pumpkin soup. Thank you. It's just what I wanted. Be careful, though, dear. It's very hot. Uh -uh. Is pumpkin soup all I get too, Mom and Mama? Well, yes. I was so worried about Moomin, I didn't think. I forgot you and Snork Maiden aren't sick, are you? Hmm. I wonder why it is that people with sprained ankles can only have soup for supper. I'm sure it's good, though. Hope you're right. It sure looks good. It is good. Thanks for the supper. Moomin, see you tomorrow. Yes, good, good night. night, you two. Well, little Mai really isn't coming tonight. Hmm, Mumble was right about that, just as well, maybe. After what she did, I'm certainly in no hurry to see her. She's still our little Mai, though. I never realized how heavy you've become, Moomin. Or maybe you've become old. Don't be silly, Moomin. Oh! Hope I don't need to do this again. Oh! You will. I'm sure I won't be able to move at all tomorrow. No, oh, Moomin, sometimes you sound just like your father. With that compress and Grandma's liniment on your leg, I'll bet you'll be as right as rain tomorrow. And listen, Moomin, try not to be too angry with little Mai. I'm sure she feels very bad about it all. Ha! Huh. She never feels bad. Little Mai? Little Mai? Where are you? Little Mai, come here! Hello, Mumble. Good evening. Have you seen little Mai anywhere? I'm afraid not, Mumble. I haven't seen any of them in the last few days. Oh. Well, if you see her, will you tell her dinner's ready? Sure. Mumble? Hmm? Whatever it is you have to say to her, feel free you can come and say it right now. Huh? What? Hey! Wake up, little Mai! Wake up, little Mai! Oh, leave me alone. Oh, oh Mumbo! Oh, oh! Wait, little Mai! Hey, let me go! Oh, Mum and Papa oh, told me oh. you caused Moomin to hurt his leg. Oh. Now you come home with me, and tomorrow we'll go over and see Moomin, and you can apologize. No, I won't do it! What's got into you, little Mai? It was not my fault! I didn't do anything! Uh, Let me go! Mumble? Oh, yes? Why don't you leave her alone? Little Mai can stay with me tonight. I don't know. When tomorrow comes, I'm sure she'll want to go back home. I'm never going back home. Little Mai. Very well, Snuffkin, if you're sure she's not too much trouble for you. No. Then tomorrow we'll go over and see the Moomins, all right, little Mai? It's very kind of you to do this, Snuffkin. Good night, then, Mumble. Now, little Mai, why don't we eat? You don't mind leftovers, do you? Here. Hmm. What's the matter? Eat up. There's no hurry. You've got all the time in the world. Papa was right. It doesn't hurt at all. Moomin, are you awake? Oh, yes, I am. Snork Maiden's come to see you. Do you think you can come down? I think I can, if you help me. Oh, dear, it's still hurting. Oh, yes, I can't walk. All right. Mm -hmm. 
What are you doing there, little Mai? Today, I'll do the cooking. To thank you for having me here, Snufkin. Mmm, but there's no need. But I've done it. Right, you can eat it now. It should be okay. I'm going for a walk. Enjoy your meal. But don't you want any? I don't think so. I'm not really hungry. Mmm, I think I'll just wash first. Thank you, Snork Maiden. Is it too tight? Oh, no, it's fine, except, of course, it's still very painful when I try to stand on it. I'll have to talk with little Mai about this. Her behavior is quite unacceptable. Is she back yet? No, and I don't care if she never returns. And she certainly can't come back unless she says she's sorry. <gasps> You're so mean, Moomin. Little oh, Mai! I've come all the way to say sorry, but now I don't think I will. Oh, well, if that's the way you feel, I'm sure I don't care. Do as you like. Well, if you don't care, I can certainly stop feeling sorry for you, stupid, pompous little know-it-all. No, wait! Little boy, come back here! No, you're too mean! Moomin? Oh, she's so stubborn. Moomin! Yes, what? Your leg doesn't hurt anymore? Ow! Oh! Ow! Yes! Oh, ah. oh! Yes, it does hurt. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh! I just can't sleep. After sitting down all day, I feel wide awake. I gotta do something. <laughs> it's no fun playing on my own. I think I'll go look for Snufkin. He might still be up. He is up. Little Mai, why don't you go back to Moomin House tonight? I'll go if I'm in the way. It's all right with me, but I think the Moomin family are worried about you. They're not a bit worried about me, because Moomin's leg hasn't got better yet. They're worried about Moomin, not about me. Why don't you go and say you're sorry, little Mai? They still won't forgive me even if I do say sorry. Snork Maiden. Is Moomin out of bed yet? Hey, eh? But isn't he with you? He ran off very happily this morning. I thought he was on his way to see you. Oh, I just had the Snork make these specially for him. The wind's died on me. Hmm? Who's that? Ah! Ah! <laughs> hey, yippee! I got you, little Mai. Yeah. <laughs> Moomin? It's me, all right. Did I scare 
scare you, little boy. But your leg! Oh, my leg, that's been well for ages. <clears throat> I've just been pretending so I could give you a real scare. However, Mama and Papa are a bit worried about you, and frankly, so am I. They're worried about me? Snort made it and sniffed too. Hmm. Moo Man, you were only pretending. I'll get you for this. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> So, in the end, Little Mai didn't have to say she was sorry. And much to everyone's relief, Little Mai returned to the Moomin House, and once again they all played together every day. <laughs>